Good morning lovelies, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, today basically is, I've decided I need a me day. I do everything for everyone else. I'm getting stressed because I do everything for everyone else. I need a me day. So I've taken the day off work, which will work. We're very happy for me to do. And today's plan is I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm going to get my eyebrows done. And all being well, for the first time ever, I'm going to dye my hair on my own. What could possibly go wrong? Then possibly a face mask. Just going to have a day of not doing cleaning and just having a nice day for me. But the first things first is I've just dropped a little man off at nursery. And who else have I got to drop off somewhere? Me! Why have I got to drop you off? My dad, like, car did something, I don't know. Your dad's camper's uh, battery died, didn't it? Mm. So I've got to drop you off at daddy's. And then my am a cheap people my dad's car. And I'll be right back. Oh, good fun. So, yeah, complete and total me day. I am taking you along for the ride. Let's go and have some fun because. It's yeah. me, partly. You're going to see dads. Uh, yeah, I don't like the way I look at the moment. I've not been putting any effort into myself, so yeah, that changes today. Yay! Yeah. Today isn't going as I originally planned at all, and this is turning basically into car seat confessions. Um. But it is what it is. Um, so basically, I had my hair cut. Fantastic. Did it. No problem. I went to get my eyebrows done because I get them done in the same precinct. And there were a lot of people and I decided not to wait. So I thought, I'll go home. I'll dye my hair. I'll have a bath. I'll, have, I'll do a face mask. And then set off early to pick up my son from nursery because it's the place I get it done is on his way on the way to his nursery. So I thought I could set off a bit earlier and it wouldn't be a problem. Got home, could not find my hair dye anywhere at all. Searched around like a hole again. Got quite pissed off in all honesty. Because <laughs> I thought this is not my plan today, is just supposed to be a relaxing day. So then thought, no, I've taken a day off work to have myself have myself a pamper. So went back down to pick up my hair dye and got my hair brows done at the same time and I am so grateful I've not had them done properly in ages and they look so much better they're a bit thinner on the ends than I normally have them however I am so grateful I no longer have a monobrow so plan of action for the rest of the day it is what time is it now it's quarter past 12 I've got to set off at half past two to pick up my little lad from nursery at three I'm probably not going to have enough time to dye my hair, have a bath and all the shenanigans. However, my hair has been dyed. If I have to have a bath after he's gone to bed, I have to have a bath after he's gone to bed. It's the way it is. I'm going to have a bath. I've decided I deserve a bath, I deserve a pamper, and to be completely and totally fair anyway, I do not want to do a face mask while my skin around my eyebrows looks like this. So I'm going to go home, dye my hair, and then probably just chill out for a little bit. The house is a state. I am not, I'm forcing myself not to clean our house today because I always do it. It's always me. And it's a lot, I've had enough, and I just want a day of putting myself first before anyone else which is the reason i've had a day off work to basically just concentrate on me my daughter's at her dad's my little lad's at nursery until three o'clock partner's at work it's just me so i'm going to enjoy every minute of it now that i'm no longer stressed however um However, however, I've never done my hair on my own before, so this could turn out horribly. We will see. Luckily, I've got two hair dyes, so that way, if the first one goes really, really, really wrong, when my partner comes over later, I'll be like, babe, so let's rectify the situation, please.
honestly. But then again, I struggle with the hair dye that I use to see it in this kind of light anyway. But I'm not entirely sure how it's turned out. I don't expect it to be perfect. You saw my method for putting on my hair dye. Oh, hello. <laughs> Get a wet wipe and try and deal with that in a minute. Yeah, so as I said, I don't expect my hair to be perfect in the slightest. I can see it's purple, which, bonus, I'm not grey anymore. It, I want to make it clear that my reason for dyeing my hair purple isn't because I was going grey. I used to dye my hair purple quite often anyway. Yay, all the greys have gone. Woo! Um, I like purple. Purple's my favourite colour. And it's also my partner's favourite colour, which is also an added bonus. So, my hair's not fully dry, however, I don't tend to fully dry my hair anyway. Purple, purple, purple! I get it everywhere. But, as we can see, it's purple it's taken i'll take an actual picture when i'm outside because my hair, hair in general tends to show when i'm in the actual daylight like proper daylight not in the house uh so my plan of action now is i think it's about quarter past two i've got set up to pick up the boy soon I think I had way too much planned for my mum day uh, because I did also want to do a workout but um, since I've only got 15 minutes I am going to make myself a cup of tea and I am going to read my bible. Shaka, she's a Christian! <laughs> um, I am a Christian. I however haven't been reading my bible anywhere near as often as I would like and it shows in the way I present myself. So like I said Gonna make myself a cup of tea. A uh, weird situation is I'm also probably going to have to do a food shop later because if you saw my previous video we had to do an emergency 999 call on Tuesday because basically we had a, the council come out to do our gas service and they accidentally and it was accidentally they accidentally put our sponge caddy like the sponges that we use to clean up they put the plastic caddy on top of the oven and then one of them accidentally knocks one of the hob the knobs on the way out so basically that that caught on fire and it was me and the boy in the house and my boys won and it was a terrifying experience but we got it all sorted and the thing is weirdly we've now found that food that food has unfortunately taking on the scent and the smell and the taste of the plastic because I had a biscuit at four o'clock this morning uh, because the boy was awake and I immediately spat it out and puked because it basically had taken on the full like taste and smell and I couldn't smell it until I ate it and it was like that's vile and unfortunately it's like getting back I sound like I'm rambling but basically when I was saying about making a cup of tea I went to put some sugar on my cereal earlier, opened the sugar container that's obviously supposed to be airtight and the smell of the plastic smoke hit me as the second I opened it and I think I'm going to have to go through all my food, I think I'm going to have to chuck the majority of my food which is heartbreaking and I'm hoping I don't have to do it to my frozen food because I've got a full, I've got a full freezer and don't get me wrong I'm not a rich person I'm not a I'm not a well-off person don't get me wrong we get by some months we struggle I'm not gonna lie so the idea of having to replace food based on someone else's it was an accident I get it but based on someone else's negligence I've got to replace cupboards worth of food and it's heartbreaking because again it's the can I afford to do this again I'm not I'm not skin I'm not well off I'm a happy medium some months are better than others luckily for us this month's a good month but yeah <laughs> it's a bit of a me eh, which I think is another reason that I needed the mummy day as much as I have I'd planned the mummy day anyway I'd sorted this with work on Monday 
but Tuesday was like, yeah, my mental health cannot take much more because ultimately I am the carer slash parent to two kids. I work part time, but ultimately when I get home, my day doesn't stop. I've got a one year old to chase around. I've got a nine year old who, as much as I love her to pieces and she's an amazing little girl, can be quite demanding. And so trying to navigate that, plus cooking, plus cleaning. And I know I sound like I'm complaining and to be fair, I possibly am. It's a lot and I love my life. Please don't get me wrong, I do. I genuinely love my life. It's just a lot. And there's a lot of, st there's a lot riding on women, especially mothers, because the outside world looks at you as in, you should be the primary caregiver for your children. Fair, I get it. My partner works full time, I get that. But then you're also expected to, depending on the person you talk to, be the one that does all the cooking, be the one that does all the cleaning. That's all well and good. However, when I'm chasing around a one year old Tasmanian devil that will not leave my side, it gets a bit hard. And then he also still doesn't sleep through the night, which means I'm up two, three times within the night. And sometimes he's up for hours in the night and it's a lot. So I just needed today to, I'm not even gonna say relax because I haven't relaxed. You've seen I've not relaxed. I've basically been go, go, go. But I've done things that I've wanted to do. My house looks like crap. I'm not gonna lie. The cleaning videos that you see are me of starting my best intentions of keeping up with something. But then as I just explained, one year old Tasmanian devil doesn't like missing out on anything, doesn't like to sleep. And in all honesty, especially on the days when I work from home, when he's asleep, I am banging out my job. Because that's my job. That's what pays me money. My partner helps. God blessing my partner does help. And I'm so eternally grateful that he does, because if he didn't, I think I would have been admitted to a psych ward by now. I just can't, I don't like asking a lot of him because he works for long hours and he gets stressed. And I don't blame him. He works a stressful job. So I do feel a lot of it, a lot of it does fall on me, which yeah, I get, I work part time. That's the way it's supposed to be. However, it's my mental health because I've not been getting near enough any time to myself has gone. <sighs> I didn't expect today's video to turn into an unload, but I won't be taking this out of the video because I think it's important to talk about people's mental health because in all honesty, I kind of, I'm in the middle about things because Obviously, I'm not a stay-at-home mum. I work part-time, but I also don't work full-time. So I sit weirdly in the middle of I work, but I also am the stay-at-home parent, if you understand what I mean. I'm home when my kids are home. I'm always home when my kids are home. So I'm constantly either working, doing childcare, or making sure my partner's okay. Don't get me wrong, my partner, check, my partner makes sure I'm okay as well. It's just, bless his little heart, I have been a snappy pants the last couple of days. In fact, I get the last couple of days, I've been a snappy pants the last couple of weeks. I do not know how this boy deals with me. But I need to start putting myself a bit, I'm, I won't say first, I will never put myself first. I need to start making myself a priority because I am a priority. I'm a firm believer in you can't pour from an empty jug. So basically you can't make anyone, you can't really take fully take care of anyone else unless you're taking care of yourself. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I will be taking care of myself as well as everybody else. One of the things I wanted to do today, which I unfortunately I'm not going to have time to do, is I wanted to do a workout. I have not, 
actually done a workout in a long time and I am very very weak in terms of body strength like I can lift weights albeit it's little, little puny weights but I can lift weights but ask me to do a press up or a push up or anything like that or a plank I struggle my body weight exercises and me do not go <laughs> and that's the thing I want to work on because I go through stages of where I will work out three four times a week for months and I get stronger I get leaner and I feel fantastic for it I work out more for mental health than I do physical health I just want to make that clear but then I don't work out again my mental health it's a it's a pain and then I undo all the hard work I've done and I'm screwed So yeah, need to design a more morning routine. The issue again with that is the boy does not sleep through the night. So to give you an example, little man went down to bed. I think he went to sleep at nine o'clock last night. He woke up, like fully woke up at, I think it was 2.30. He was not back asleep until 4.30, quarter to five. So as you can imagine for me, when I want to spend a bit of time with my partner after he's gone, after little man's dropped off. We didn't get to bed till half ten. In fact, no, we got to bed at midnight. Little man woke up at half two. Fell back asleep at about half four, quarter to five ish. So, as you can imagine, most days I am running on fumes because, as much as it's like, oh, you've got four or five hours sleep, yeah, but I've not had four or five hours sleep in one go I've had broken sleep so it feels like I'm not sleeping at all which is always fun especially when I've got to, especially when I've got to, to, to juggle everything else we'll get there we will get there I will get there I'll get there is he a little bit better now purple I actually don't think I did that bad of a job. I'm impressed. I just seem to have missed like baby hairs around the section, which annoys me. But yeah, I don't think I've done a bad job. Very impressed with myself. After my little chat with you, I did sit down with my Bible and basically got lost in Corinthians. I basically, I really do love Corinthians anyway. So it was nice just to sit and revisit because I've not actually read my Bible in a, properly in a very long time. So it was nice just to sit and go through it again. Um, My plan last night was to have a bath and then do a face mask. Basically what ended up happening was my partner came home and I decided that I just wanted to spend time with him. So after little man went to bed, um, we just watched some TV together and just sat snuggled up, which worked very well for me. I absolutely adore my, my partner, so it was nice just to have time with me and him. So this morning, little man woke up at six, which isn't bad. He actually falls, he went to sleep about seven which is unknown for him. So he, he woke up once for a feed about two and then fell asleep, was asleep until six. So he did really well last night. My body doesn't know what to do with all this energy. <laughs> um, so basically I'm using his nap time to have a shower. I'm not going to have a bath. I'm going to have a shower. Or possibly have a bath tonight not sure however i'm going to do a face mask this morning because i've not done anything this morning as you can tell i'm in my robe 
got up, basically made sure the boy was okay, did a slight bit of cleaning. It's all good. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a shower or not, because I don't have to go anywhere today. I was supposed to be at peer support this morning. I have mentioned it in a previous video that I do struggle with mental health, and it got worse after having my boy. At the end of the day, I had nine years between my children. So, yeah, <laughs> I was learning from ground zero again, and it was a lot. Still can be a lot, as I said during my little conversation with you yesterday. Um, so, I was supposed to go to peer support. Unfortunately, I still breastfeed little man, and I put him on breast because he got very agitated, which normally means he wants some. And he fell asleep, and neither of us were dressed. He... If if it was just me, not if it was just me that wasn't dressed, I would have got dressed and just carried him down to the car. But considering the fact he's not dressed, I didn't want to disturb him, so ended up not going to peer support today. However, I did start my day with my Bible again, so I feel very happy for that reason. So yeah, I I think I am just gonna go and do my face mask now because I just want to do something. I am actually breaking out a little bit. Weirdly enough. Uh, my face masks are from Lush. I absolutely love Lush. The one I've got, the one I bought, I can't remember exactly what it's used for. However, the one I didn't end up buying, they've given me a, a free sample for, is the one that helps with breakouts. Um, unfortunately, it smells a lot like garlic and looks very grey, so it's, it doesn't look appealing, but... At the end of the day, if it helps control the oily mess that is me, bring it on. <laughs> it's a really good thing. I don't mind the smell of garlic, isn't it? I quite like garlic, so it works very well. Um, can definitely smell the garlic in it. Um, just looked, this one's called Cosmetic Warrior. So just obviously resetting your skin. We'll see how my skin looks after. But yeah, not a bad size for a sample pot. There was still a slight bit left in it, but I couldn't cake any more on me. So we'll see what happens. So I've done the, so I've done the face mask. My face feels a lot softer and smoother than it did. And it doesn't look like it on camera, but it's a lot, my face is a lot less shiny as well. I've noticed, and I don't know why, looking at it, if I was my camera, if I was taking a picture, my face doesn't look anywhere near the shiny and oily. Any ideas? <laughs> uh, so yeah, plan of action is still to have a bath tonight. However, the rest of the day is just going to be cleaning and catching up on what I didn't do yesterday. If you see on the previous my previous video, we still have um, plastic re plastic residue on top of the oven. So I'm going to try and get that off. I don't think I'll be able to get it off. Uh, we had the council out who counts. Council team leaders came out to look at the damage to the oven and they managed to get most of the plastic off once it had hardened. However, there is still some left on the actual cooker itself. It smells, it's hard to get off and because of that I ha I'm nervous about using any of my oven top rings at all. I'm just nervous about using it. It still smells and I'm nervous about what's going to come with that. <sighs> but we'll see what happens.